Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage the CIO of Haynes Brands, Subra Goparaju. Hey Subra, how are you? Excellent. Hey, wait, wait, hang on a sec, Subra. There was a different coat yesterday. I, uh, there was a puffer jacket, and I think it was an Australian puffer jacket yesterday. I like this. That will look great. Champion brand. What do you think? I should wear it this afternoon? All right, it's going on, it's, I'm going on, I'm wearing it. I'm gonna champion, literally, Haynes Brands. I'm only kidding, Subra, welcome. Welcome to Sapphire. I know that uh, the Haynes Brands story is a long and uh, storied history. Why don't you tell the audience a little bit about who you are and uh, the company that you, we all know? Sure, Haynes Brand is a maker of everyday apparel that is known and loved by consumers around the world. Uh, the company was founded 100 years ago. It's headquartered in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, with six billion plus in revenues, 51,000 plus employees. We are present in over 32 countries. We have some iconic brands, Scott. You do? Uh, brands such as uh, Haynes, which is one of the leading brand, uh, apparel brand in US. We have some other popular brands like Bonds, Bali, Maiden Farm. In Innerwear, Champion is our flagship brand. The fun fact that you already mentioned, we invented the original hoodie. We are working on our, what we call, full potential plan uh, that will greatly benefit our consumers and stakeholders. I'm proud to be part of this iconic company. So you mentioned the uh, word, uh, Subra, full potential. I think that's the program, tell us a little bit more about what Full Potential is and, and the case for change that you had at Haynes Brands, considering the successful history that got you to this point. Absolutely, Full Potential plan is simple. Increase the revenue, increase the margin, basically grow the company. Technology transformation is the foundation of our Full Potential plan. Why we are doing this and what is the case for change? One of the reasons why we are doing this is simplification. By consolidating all our uh, various types of ERP platforms, we wish to reduce complexity. We want to standardize the business processes, simplify our business. We want to simplify to amplify. The other reason why we are doing this is our brands need help. They need newer capabilities. Mm. Capabilities like omni-commerce capabilities data and analytics capabilities, capabilities that will truly propel us forward into retail excellence. That is the case for change. So I know that you're a loyal, uh, long-term customer of SAP, and I know that we've been a foundation of, of your journey up until this point, but you've also been transforming with SAP. How are we helping enable that transformation, those benefits that you describe? How has SAP been a partner to help you do that um, as you move now and into the future? SAP is central to our transformation journey. If we ask ourselves, what, does, what are the business capabilities that a modern, retail-centric, consumer-minded organization like ours need? Uh, we want to build a digital foundation, call it a technology spine, on which all your standard business processes will run. Another capability that we want is we want to be a data-driven enterprise. Mm. We want to unleash the power of data. Uh, how do we unlock, build a data model and uh, enable improved analytics? The other capability that we want is an integrated end-to-end -end planning. How can we build a platform that provides insights and also 
um, predicts tomorrow's demand today. And finally, we talked about resilient supply chain network. We want to build a resilient supply chain network that can intelligently and efficiently predict changing consumer demand. Uh, SAP has enabled uh, many of these capabilities. So it's central to our transformation journey. Well, that's great to hear. And I guess I can say that what you heard from Christian yesterday, artificial intelligence, generative AI infused into the processes, use cases across the portfolio, data sphere and how you can fit, use federation data to be able to connect. And you use the term planning Planning not only from your financial planning, but your workforce planning, your supply chain planning, and being able to do that to unlock the power. I know the brand of Champion is already live with Rise with SAP. Tell us about the business benefits, what actually happened, and maybe looking forward, what are you excited about going into the future? Absolutely. So we have enabled uh, several business capabilities that will benefit our consumers and organization at large. So one of the capability that we have enabled is enterprise data management and advanced analytics. So we built uh, an enterprise data management system. We built a playbook, a governance structure using SAP MDG and information steward. We have that now that would ensure that we have clean and consistent data across the company. We also have enabled real-time analytics in data sphere. Um, the other capability that we have enabled is uh, omni-channel inventory visibility and omni-commerce capability. Mm. Having end-to-end -end inventory visibility right. is not only critical, but paramount for offering better consumer experiences. Um, SAP CAR, Customer Activity Repository, provides that visibility across all channels whether it is wholesale, e-com, or retail. Uh, that would be a critical enabler for our omni journeys. Another capability is that we've enabled our entire technology footprint, our global platforms, are on SAP RISE, a highly scalable, available platform with enhanced security. Uh, what I call is our crown jewels can now run with uh, least uh, risk and reduced uh, disruptions. And finally, uh, we've also enabled a global integration platform on BTP. Uh, the platform powers all types of integration patterns, whether it is application to application integration, business to business integration, or even data. Um, so I'm excited. I'm really excited about our global platforms. I'm excited about the business capabilities that it will enable, the value that it unlocks. All this will truly help us to achieve our full potential. Subra, so, I am so impressed. Number one, you're able to explain pretty much the SAP strategy in your business. Data platform, business technology, all of the, uh, the applications, whether it be SAP Rise, Omnichannel, integration and planning. And most of all, you could explain what our three letter acronyms actually are. <laughs> because I couldn't even explain what CAR was until you explained it to me. In all seriousness, Subra, the story of uh, Haynes Brands and the partnership is one that has a long foundation, but the future is even more exciting. Thank you so much for the trust, for the partnership, the willingness to go all in with SAP, and we look forward to helping your business become future-proof. Super, thank you. thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen,